This is your CBS 46 News update. Good Monday afternoon. I'm Karen Greer. New COVID-19 cases on the rise in a number of states across the U.S., including here in Georgia, where cases have gone up a whopping 193% just in the last two weeks. Though daily cases are far below the pandemic's peak numbers. As for vaccinations, well, the country isn't moving as quickly as the Biden administration expected. Just under 49% of Americans are fully vaccinated here in Georgia. That number's 39%. Senator Amy Klobuchar, a Democrat from Minnesota who chairs the powerful Rules Committee, holding a field hearing in Atlanta today. It's called Protecting the Freedom to Vote and concentrating on recent changes to Georgia's voting laws. This is the first field hearing held by the Rules Committee in 20 years. Witnesses are testifying about the new Georgia voting laws. Atlanta United firing its head coach, Gabriel Heinze. His firing comes after the team was shut out by the New England area Saturday night. It's Atlanta United's fifth shutout of the season. Heinze was hired in December of last year. Club president Darren Eels has made it clear they plan on hiring a new manager quickly because there's still plenty of season left to play. All right, speaking of playing around, are you going to be able to get out and enjoy the weather today? Meteorologist Ella Dorsey says rain's going to be for most of us. Yeah, you're definitely not. You're going to want to stay inside. It's going to be cloudy, high temperatures, generally hover below 80 degrees and the rain will be widespread through the afternoon, through the evening and even through the overnight hours. I'm expecting heavy showers. These will continue through the morning commute tomorrow and through the majority of the day tomorrow. So today through tomorrow, we could get anywhere between one to up to three inches of rain. So isolated flash flooding also not out of the question over the next couple of days. The good news is much better weather on the way for the rest of the week. By this weekend, only a 30% chance for your typical afternoon thunderstorms. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News.